How about delta k over L? What is that going to be? Anybody know? How would we figure out delta k over L? Just think about it. Any ideas? We need something we haven't done talked about yet. We've talked about the rate of productivity growth, but we've left out a, an important dimension, which is what we call technical bias. What do we mean by technical bias? What do we mean by bias in technology growth? Think about it in terms of labor and capital. Here's L. Here's K. Here's the Y equals 100 isoquant, right? That's the Y equals 100 isoquant. What is technical progress? What do we mean by, say this is L, K. That's our initial output. What do we mean by technical progress? What happens to the y equals 100 isoquant when there's technical progress? Which way does it shift? In, right? I mean, that's kind of the always part you have to remember. Technical progress is shifting in. Less resources, right? Less production function shifting out, but that means the isoquant shifting in. Now, what do we mean by technical bias? Well, the idea of technical bias is as this curve shifts in, is it twisting one way or the other? Technical bias in favor of labor would mean it's sort of shifting in like that. It's getting steeper, right? And the way to think about that, what that means, if it's getting steeper, this is bias toward labor. And then think about it three ways. And then I'll stop here and I'll pick up from here next time. One, at a fixed L over K, W over R is rising, right? That is, the curve's getting steeper, which corresponds to W over R going up. Two, at a fixed W over R, L over K is going up. Right? That means that a fixed rate at a fixed slope, you're going to substitute toward labor, right? You're going to move over this way. And number three, TFP faster at higher L over K. Right? In fact, that's what's causing this isoquant to twist, right? That is. Why is the isoquant twisting? Because we're pulling it in faster on this side than on that side. Because if we pulled it in at a kind of a constant rate, if we pulled it in the same percentage along every ray, then it would be neutral, right? We would just be using 20% less across the board. So all these things are really the same. They're all really telling you the same thing. We're twisting this isoquant this way as it comes in. Now you can think about, well, what's the effect of this going to be on labor share? Well, if L over K is fixed, W over R is going up, is going to raise labor share. If W over R is fixed, L over K going up, also going to raise labor share. So all these things are going to be pushing up labor share if it's biased toward labor, and it's going to be pushing up capital share if it's biased toward capital. Okay? This is a so that's one of the things that can also be important in this model. Do we have technological bias in favor of labor or technological bias in favor of capital? 